Okay, welcome back to VMworld 2013. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the ceiling from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host this segment, Stu Miniman, analyst at wikibon.org. And our next guest is Nariman Timorian from Dell. He's director of Converged Infrastructures at Dell, uh, former entrepreneur, CEO, uh, and now at Dell. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much for having um, me. Stu, I want to get your take first before we go on the questions. We've heard a lot about Converged Infrastructures, so let's set the table. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So, what do you think converged infrastructure means today, today's definition, within the VMworld announcements this morning? Yeah, so, so, so John, if, if we talk about it being in a software-defined or software-led world, you know, it's easy to talk about the speeds and themes and the pieces that put together. You've got compute, you've got networking, and you've got storage and some of those pieces, but really one of the big changes that needs to happen is how we manage it, manage it how it's all orchestrated. That's why we're glad to have this segment to really focus on some of the management pieces uh, Dell had made the acquisition of Gale last year. Remember there was a big rush on companies that were buying companies that were building you know, next generation you know, solutions. So uh, VMware made the Dynamics Op acquisition. Uh, Cisco's been on a rash of acquisitions in this space. Uh, so you know, definitely th there's always that next generation hardware, but it's the software and the management uh, is one of the four, layer, four pieces of the stool and the one that really pulls it all together. Yeah, I, mean, I got to ask you, so obviously Dell, we're very close to Dell, we you know, I just talked to Michael Dell just this week on the HP earnings, and uh, he talks candidly in private, shares some things, but not too much, but the big vote on the 12th is coming, going private, I don't really want to go there, but what that means is Michael Dell's rebooting Dell, recasting the product strategy to get some leverage, un get a modern era, and you were speculating earlier with um, uh, HP on the cube here, but the PC era of old might be dead, but people still going to have personal devices, either wearing them, connected to them. So you guys have been thinking about this, and this is something that's not new to the playbook of enabling apps and enabling next generation of IT. Whether the devices are free or paid for, that'll be determined by the devices themselves, but I mean, one, do you agree with that vision of that's the future, and two, what's, what are some of the things that Converge Infrastructure that's changing, where the wind is at the back of, for you guys that's, that you can point to? Well, thank you uh, for having me. Um, you know, Michael likes to say that uh, we are the world's biggest startup, uh, and, and it's very true. I think we have a vision uh, for changing the way our company uh, works and operates. Uh, we are beginning to focus on the enterprise, uh, but the enterprise has a, has a number of different pieces uh, and there are, there, there are different things that the enterprises need. We have customers of ours who start uh, working with Dell by buying laptops and, and desktops, so very quickly they begin to look at the overall solution that Dell provides in compute, storage, and networking, and now with conversion infrastructure, we have made about $12 billion worth of acquisition uh, over the last few years, um, acquiring companies. We have a now software division that, that, that has acquired a number of different companies from Quest, Appashore, Boomi, um, um, and a number of different. So we have a perspective on the market that is really designed to, giving, to, to give our customers a holistic solution, an end-to-end -end solution, whether or not it starts from bring your own device or it ends up being inside the data center where you are having a the a plethora of uh, Dell compute storage and networking, or even third party storage and networking that might be there, uh, that we are having a very strong point of view in supporting and ensuring that we can live there. Conversion infrastructure for us is a brand new uh, area that we have begun to look at for the last two years, and the company that I was a former CEO of, Gale Technology, really specialized in creating a system management solution for the conversion infrastructure. So we're here today uh, as part of that acquisition, as part of uh, the management solution for active systems. So the, so the conversion infrastructure, Marius Haas, is he yes. involved and that's his, is that his group? I report into Marius Haas's organization to, uh, through, the, uh, through the acquisition Okay, so press. You know, he's ex-HP, did the 3Com acquisition yes. at HP, we've been following yes. his career. Great executive, good to have him there. Um, yeah, but you know, you're seeing some changes at HP. Yep. Dave Donatelli was running the enterprise group. Now he's been sidelined, I guess, or new project, whatever you want to call it. 
Dell's been gaining share yep. um, when HP's been losing. So how do you guys talk about that in terms of sides high-fiving each other? I mean, it's still, the world's changing. So one, you got your shipments are up, shares getting there. What's, sure. the, what's the take internally for Dell? So I think one of the fundamental things uh, that Dell has always had has been the fact that our customers have a significant brand loyalty to us. And our customers like Dell to be successful. They do invest with Dell. Uh, they like to see us moving in a direction that allows them to provide a significantly um, a comprehensive solution for them. Um, we have done a great job on our 13G compute. Uh, we, uh, our, uh, our shares on the storage side with Compellent and, and uh, Ecologica are up. Our force 10 acquisition has delivered a significant amount of value to us. Customers are not seeing us as a laptop or a, uh, or a desktop provider. They see us as a uh, enterprise partner that can deliver for, you know, best in class storage, uh, compute, and networking. And now they're beginning to see us deliver the, so the software aspect of this. The key for us is bringing these things together. TBR did a report on us, Gartner did an analysis on us, and what you're beginning to see when you hear about these things, you begin to see that the customers are saying, you know, we're beginning to see Dell come to us and not ask us, what is it that you want to buy? But Dell comes to us and said, what are the issues and solutions that you're facing with today in your in enterprise? And here are points of view on how you can solve that problem. I think that has a lot to do with the way that we're gaining shares. So looking at some IDC stats here. In North America, Dell maintained number one rank with record share of 35%. This is IDC numbers, yet to be published. Coming yep. from a tipster. Um, um, better servers, better efficiency, embedded management, storage is up. Number one in terabytes of storage systems shipped globally, which is surprising to me. Stu, you can counter this if you have a different opinion. Uh, move, networking moved from number 12 to number three in the past yes. three years. Um, these are all accurate? They are very accurate. Yeah, and I, I, I like to know where you got that information <laughs> so we can, uh, but they are very accurate. They are very, yeah. very uh, Yes, yes, I get. Yep. So I got I some stats yeah. there from a, a source. Um, those assume to be IDC numbers, but you know, there's always been a debate about market share. HP yeah. will claim, you know, they're off. Um, but again, how you're measuring share these days may may, may change in the yes, future, especially course. with virtualization. Yep. So, um, what's your take on that? How do you? I mean, obviously it's great to you know, have some stats and be on the leaderboard, but yeah. the future's not about market share, it's about solutions. That's exactly right. And I, I think one of the fundamental things that we hear from our customers is that we have some f real issues, business issues that needs to be solved. And if you're a vendor that comes to us, you better come to us with very, very specific solutions. These things have to reduce the total cost of ownership, they have to be easy to buy, easy to deploy, easy to use, easy to manage, easy to support. These things are characteristics and criteria that our customers are asking us to do. What we do at Dell today is to ensure that the first thing, the number one thing is to listen to our customers. Ask them exactly what the problems are, understand what those problems are, and go back to them with the solution. So, converged infrastructure was, is a response to what our customers are asking for. They're asking us to put compute network and storage together, have a single management solution that runs and brings these things together, be heterogeneous, do not force us to buy things that we may not necessarily need to buy, but if we want to buy compute from Dell, but we're not ready to change our storage vendor or our networking vendor, give us a solution that works with the third party vendors, and more importantly, ensure that when this solution arrives, it works completely right out of the box. So, converged infrastructure for, for Dell is designed to do that. It's to designed to come in in a way that immediately gets out and delivers value. We call it zero to 60 in a few seconds, and so we're hoping to be able to deliver that as quickly as possible. So, so yeah, uh, you know, if we, if we look at this space, uh, especially being here at VMworld, uh, you know, who owns the management and who do people go to? You know, there's a lot of discussion about, you know, sure. does just vCenter yep. rule the world? I yep. mean, that's, you know, the software defined data center, VMware would say there's yep. VMware ad administrators. Yep. When we start talking about breaking down the silos, a VM admin makes a lot of sense. So, sure. Dell, has sold products into the enterprise yeah. for years, they've got solutions. Um, I'm not as familiar with their history on kind of the management side, obviously they made your, your piece in, so 
why does Dell have a place at the table and how do you fit in with the rest of the ecosystem of you know, the BMCs, the CAs, sure. uh, and uh, the VMwares of the yeah. world? And so you know, uh, we have a tight partnership, very close partnership with VMware. Um, we are in the process of integrating our Active System Manager solution very much, uh, very co closely in interlinked with the vSphere, vCOP, uh, SDDC, and uh, VCAC, the platforms that, uh, that, uh, Dell ha uh, that VMware has. And you're absolutely right. Um, a virtualization administrator most likely will go to vSphere. Uh, it's a world where they begin to manage their, uh, their, uh, their, uh, their virtual machines. But there is a significant amount of information that needs to come from the infrastructure. Uh, you still need to know a lot more about your storage computer networking. Uh, you still need to be able to you know, provision these VMs, uh, make sure that they're appropriately you know, provisioned, where they lay, uh, how they need to be uh, organized, where they can move. Uh, vMotion is a great product, but we have customers of ours who say, look, you know, the physical infrastructure still matters a great deal. So what we're trying to do is to give our customers a very cohesive understanding of what the infrastructure looks like, and on top of that, for them, they can rely on vSphere so that they can manage the virtual world. And so, the closer that our management solution on the infrastructure side comes to uh, inter be interlinked and integrated with the VMware solutions, the easier it's going to be for our customers to be able to, uh, to consume virtualization and the infrastructure that it relies. So great, uh, just a, a follow up on that. We One of the early wins that you can have with converged infrastructure, of course, how fast I can put it in. And virtualization in general has helped with that agility and how fast I deploy something. But if we look at you know, IT expense, it's that operations, it's yeah. you know, maintaining it, you know, everybody right. talks about how much can I spend on innovation, right. how much can I keep on, on doing it. What does your converged infrastructure from Dell and the management solution help to address that life cycle solution uh, of a deployment. Yeah, so uh, the Active System Manager, which is the Gale Force product that uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we created and then sold as part of our acquisition, was really designed to do a number of different things. So um, operational focus of the product was key. Um, the, the administrator still has the, you know, the, the problem of provisioning the servers, provisioning storage, provisioning uh, networking. So Active System Manager being embedded within the converged infrastructure solution has a, a very distinct relationship with the element manager. And therefore makes it very easy for you to be able to provision storage networking. And, but Beyond that, you are going to need to add a lot more. So if you may, you may have one active system manager that manages a thousand servers, but you're going to add another thousand servers. You're going to be adding another storage device. You're going to be adding another networking device. So we continue to do that because we have the, the, the single management solution is so embedded well with the uh, networking, with the element manager that the additional and expansion and scale out uh, capabilities is there. It also scales up. It, you know, with our integration with vSphere and others, as well as the acquisitions we've made, for example, with Foglight, which is a part of uh, 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 the Quest acquisition, with Boomi and AppAssure, we are have the capability of giving more um, a granular capability of managing the, 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 uh, the application layer. And the single management solution is the one that the customer can land in. A single pane of glass to manage that environment. So I gotta, so we gotta, so we gotta get some time. You gotta wrap up, but I want to get one final question in on the um, the company. Yep. Um, obviously, September twelfth is coming. What's it like there right now? Employee morale. Give us a taste and uh, a feel or a sense of the, what's going on inside Dell. Michael Dell's going to own three quarters of the company. Silver Lake Park is going to own a quarter. It's going to be basically owner operated, mm -hmm. small business, biggest startup, biggest shareholder. I'm sure Michael will spread some of that wealth to the employees generously. Um, and then in the new new turnaround, but I mean, I mean, people nervous, getting their stock buyback. So, so what's the vibe? So you know, um, I've been with Dell for nine months, uh, and so I'm not a long-term Dell employee. But I can tell you that um, it is reviving a sense of uh, entrepreneurship, a kind of a startup mentality that brought people like me to Dell. Um, people are excited about the fact that. Michael has taken over, we're a lot more, they're, they're excited about the, the opportunities that are going to exist. Look, you know, the street behaves in a certain way towards us about the decisions that we make. Uh, as a private company, Michael has a significant amount of latitude to do the things that he wants to do. We are very excited about He'd the He'd be like a kid in a candy store. It would be, and, and for us as employees, uh, we are going to have a significant, uh, it, we are going to have a lot more latitude to do the things that we want to do. We are beginning to look at 
a lot of the areas you know, within our company where efficiency needs to be there, and we were beginning to see that efficiency can be gained in a lot of different areas. So I think uh, overall, it's a very positive, yeah, yeah. is it, uh, do we all know the details of the deal? No, not, not, not everyone knows that, but a lot of the employees, their communication that comes from the group that manages uh, the Go uh, private deal has been excellent. And you know, so I got to say that I, I've always said, that even on theCUBE publicly, that Michael Dell's been handcuffed by being such a public company and there's so much history now and so much you know, history, you know, yeah. you know trajectory over yeah. the years. And he's got that twinkle in his eye and I know he wants to, it's no comeback, he's like still young, he's still you know, like 47. He's a year younger than he's me. He's only 47, <laughs> exactly. hell, he's going to have a, he's gonna have a field day. Mm -hmm. But those companies that are the most successful are founder-led. Yes. And hey, look at HP, even they're trying to get back to those founder roots. Yes. Even though their founders have passed away. So I think that's the secret formula, that's why it's exciting. I would agree with you that my experience at Dell World last year was, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, the troops are confused, but for yeah. the most part, leadership is, I yeah, am, I am I, the prize. I think Michael and his team are very, very focused, and as an entrepreneur who came to Dell as part of the acquisition, I commend him for doing it, and I, he has my 100% support in my team. So. Final word, I'll get you the final word on this segment. Talk about what's happening at VMworld this week and VMware for the folks out there. Just share them quickly, your quick sound bite on what's happening at, for VMware and for v, here at VMworld. So I think you know you guys all heard the uh, uh, announcements today about the conversion infrastructure, the stuff that VMware is doing. Uh, it's an exciting time to come to VMware. These they are very good partners of ours. We're very excited to be here on a regular basis with them. We do have a lot of uh, a private conversation with VMware about their strategy, about our strategy. Uh, but all in all, I think you could see the a large number of representation by the partners, which is pretty impressive. I think everyone knows that working with VMware is a critical element. But I think from our perspective, we see them as a very, very critical partner. And I think their commitment to conversion infrastructure from my perspective is very, very important. And gives me and my team the opportunity to deliver our product in conjunction and partnership with them. So that's an exciting thing for me. Nariman, Taymorian, thanks for coming on to the Cube. Really appreciate it from Dell. This is the Cube. We'll be right back with our next guest of the show. Stay with us, wall to wall coverage. This is the Cube. This is uh, day one of VMworld. We have two more days, wall to wall every day. All great guests, executives, entrepreneurs, founders, uh, VCs tomorrow. We have a great day tomorrow. So stay with us for the rest of the day. We've got two more interviews, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>